we'll do a little run through video on you know the concept of how a stealth kayak is actually made. The first process that we do is obviously we sit and we, we, we come up with a concept or an idea of a kayak. We design it on the computer using CAD programs and CAD systems. Okay, the CAD makes it a very accurate kayak. In other words, we design one left left side of the kayak. The computer the computer duplicates the right side, and obviously then we come up with a, uh, what we call a, a concept kayak or the complete kayak itself. To take that kayak from the picture or the drawing of the computer, we then upload it into our CNC CNC machine. Right. This is a CNC machine that we, we brought in specifically to be able to shape our own kayaks using the foam blocks. So we'll take a foam block like this white foam block here and the computer system there, the, the, the kayak design will be uploaded into the computer and the CNC machine with a special cutting tool will now take the foam and it'll literally cut it and shape it and reproduce your finished kayak. Which that, that in turn is our prototype or the very first kayak of that, of that specific model. So in the case of this component here, that CNC machine has, using a cutting tool, has shaped the concept that came off the computer. So in this panel here, what it actually is, it's the side panel of a, of a, of a, a new battery powered car that the guys are developing. So we use the CNC machine to cut the side panel. And this will be turned in, now be turned into the actual prototype or the mold itself. Okay, so in the case of this kayak, this is a new kayak that we've, we've been working on. This has been CNC cut on the machine, the foam cut very similar to that, that foam piece I showed you just now. What we're doing now is we're doing the sanding and the finishing, you know, we, we apply a lot of fiberglass and epoxy layers and we sandpaper it back and sandpaper it back to make it nice and smooth. So underneath this is the actual fiberglass that the, the CNC machine has cut. This is the finishing side of it before we will turn this into like I said, our finished prototype, and from here, the finished prototype will be used to make a mold. Okay, so. so basically, what you see here is a, is a mold being made off a prototype like the kayak I've just showed you. So this is your first layers of gel coat and fiberglass making the mold, which we will now, from the mold, reproduce your kayak. So, Prototype is now turned into a, is used to be ma to make a mold. So we're making a mold here. What this is, yeah, this is currently a mold of one of our new touring kayaks. So this is a, the, the, the mold that we're reproducing before we can make an actual final product. What you see here now is actual, an actual finished mold. So from the, 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 the plug, this is what will come out, is the actual mold. This is an older mold, so it's not a new mold. Um, the mold itself, as you'll see, is very shiny, very good finish. The better the finish on your mold, obviously, the better the finish on your product. So a lot of time is spent on making a mold for us to be able to reproduce the kayak. So using the mold, in this case, this is the bottom mold of a kayak. We will manufacture fiberglass kayak using this mold to reproduce the finished kayak. Uh, the first process we'll do using the mold is actually spraying the colors of the gel coat. A lot of people think that we make a kayak like you make a car, you spray the paint glass, but in actual fact, the mold, which you see here, will have its colors sprayed on first. Which actually means everything we do in this mold will, will be reproduced in a reverse format. So if I had to write my name in the mold here, when it came, come out on the other side, it'll actually come out backwards. It's like a mirror image. So your mold is giving you a mirror image finish. So here we will spray the color. For the case of a white kayak, we will spray a, weld, spray a white gel coat onto the mold and then we will laminate on, uh, our, using our vacuum molding process onto this. This is a, 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 a part of the kayak, it's actually a hull of a kayak in the mold. This is um, post-production in terms of doing the vacuum molding side of it. So we've actually vacuum molded the hull. A lot of this material here you'll see will be thrown away and then you'll have a finished hull, hull component of a kayak. You'll take the hull, then we will take the top deck. This is on over here. This is the top of a kayak, okay? You'll see it comes out with a flange system on it. You'll take the top, you'll take the hull as you see in the mold. You'll take a fish box, which is your box or your storage box that you see inside. We will join the three pieces together and you'll come out with a complete joined or finished kayak as in with this nice kayak here. So here, what you see is the top deck I've just shown you. Top deck, the hull, 
the fish box, all the three pieces joined together giving you a finished kayak. So that is an actual finished kayak. You can see this is like that, as I just explained. This one is white, okay? This one is white, white was sprayed first. So the white was sprayed and you get a white kayak which comes out the mold. So you have a kayak with a top and a bottom. The seam has been done on this kayak. Still one more stage to go in the seam where the seam will be sanded at a further time and then it'll be painted and polished to, give, to make it shine. So we've got the top here, the bottom joined together, the seam put on. And now we have a finished kayak that's ready for polishing. Uh, here we have a kayak in the actual polishing, ready for polish. This has just been polished. So after it comes out from the seam, it gets cleaned, it gets polished, make sure it's nice and shiny as, as shiny as possible. After polishing, it'll move into this area here, which is now our assembly bay, where we will put on the fittings. You know, we put on the handles, you know, handles in this case, we put on all the fittings, the hatches. So here we have one. This kayak has currently been fitted out, so once it's been polished, it'll be brought here. All the holes are drilled, all the fittings are stuck on. And naturally, according to the order from the customer, all the parts are put in, put in as per the, the order. Stickers are put on, and there we have it. Finished kayak, nice and simple.